hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel this is david glennis welcome to another episode of text effect series and this is actually the episode two if you have not gone through the first episode i strongly advise you to go through it to understand how we got to this point i already taught you guys what text effects are and also how you can download text effects templates so i will not be diving into that but then i made mention in the last video tutorial where i tell you there are two different types of text effects we have editable text effects and we also have the type of text effects you create from scratch now if you are a canva user i would strongly advise you to learn this part very well due to the fact that canva is not a great app to edit text effects from scratch canva is not a great app to edit text effects from scratch this doesn't mean that canva cannot create text effects from scratch it's just that canva has a limit pixel lab user you can learn this aspect and you can also create text effects from scratch now editable text effects are the type of text effect that has already been prepared all you need to do is edit it for example i have designed everything just like a template all you need to do is delete the text i actually use on that, that particular template then you clear it up and input your own so now these are the two text effects i we downloaded in the previous tutorial and we are going to be um, making use of one of them now the first thing i'm going to do is to go to my zechiva app first we we need to extract those text effects we downloaded as i've said earlier if you have not gone through the first episode i would strongly advise you to go through that first um episode to understand how we got to this point now download the zechiva app if you are not having it you can go to your play store to download the zechiva app the z archiver app anyone you want to call it this is what the app looks like right here the link to the app will be provided in the description box so you can download it directly from there you can see this is what the app look like so i'm going to open the app now i'll locate my download folder by tapping on this then click on download now all we want to do now is to extract the um the text effects we just down um, the two text effects we just downloaded so i'll check the name the name the, the name is hyper the first one is hyper so let's just search all right you can see this hyper active text style effects and it is on zip you can see that anything that is zip you can use the z archiver app to extract it so we are going to tap on it then click on extract now we are going to locate the folder so let me just let me look for if let me let me put it under my device folder then i will i'm going to extract it inside this particular folder now look at this line says please always take note of the line sense there are some lenses that I will not advise um, that I won't advise you to use anyhow due to the fact that that particular license can tell you that this text effect is not allowed in so so area okay if you are in Nigeria you can use the text effect if you are in the United States you can't use the text effect so always go through the license okay always go through the license so that you is going to avoid you from copyright now let's extract the second okay action video game that's the name so i'm going to extract the second text effects okay i'll just go to my download folder and the name of the down the the, the i think all right so as you can see this is the second one i'll just click on extract and i'll also extract it on my device folder so let's just allow this to finish extracting as you can see it's extracting and it is done now you can see this particular image let me go to my my file folder i'm just going to my file folder so let me open my file manager and i extracted it inside my device inside this particular device now you can see this i this particular face text effect this particular one you're seeing right here the one i marked these two these two i marked those are the um what the text effect looks like you can see that this is what that particular text effect look like and as you can see right here there is something that highlighted editable text effect you can see it at the top editable text effect so all you need to we want to do now to edit a text effect is to you can see this hyperactive we are going to edit it and turn it into our own text our own pre-variable text okay 
for this particular one as well that's this this is the sample of what this text effect looks like all we need to do is to go to photo p now and extract it and edit it to whatever we want to edit it to now you can see this is the psd file and these ones right here are what we want to work with these ones with the question mark these are the things we want to edit the first ones are jpg format which are the things we um those are the sample and these ones are the these, these two are the um the license you can see that these are the license without further ado let's proceed with the tutorial on how you can edit this text effect if you are enjoying the video so far do well to like the video and if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon so that you will get notified whenever i upload a new episode of text effects tutorial so let's go to my chrome browser and then now go all we need to do is to go to photo p so type in photo p dot com you can see that now let's allow it to load all right here we are now this is what photo p looks like this can be used in different manners but then i would like to notify you that if you are using a phone of less than three gig gram maybe a phone of one gig gram or two gig gram you might experience issue using photo p you might experience issue using photo p but then if your phone is like three gig or preferably four gig gram and so on your phone is going to work for photo p now depends on how strong that particular photo um the the, the text effect you download is now to edit your text effect is very simple but then please follow this carefully all you need to do is to click on this place you are seeing file then click on this place you are seeing open now after clicking on open select your file and locate that particular folder where um we extract we are going to locate that particular folder where we extracted our text effect yes this is the folder right here you can see that this is the folder so i'm going to tap on it now remember i told you earlier this particular jpg and this one those are just the um samples these are not what we need what we need is the one with psd so let's work with this psd tap on it and you can see it's loading in this aspect your own might take like it, it can take a lot of time just allow it to load this can take a little bit time allow wait for it and allow it to finish loading all right guys as you can see the text effect has appeared so now what we are going to do click on this place you are seeing layer we want to start editing and what we are going to edit here this is the text effect itself that's hyperactive so that is what we are going to edit right here now this is the layer icon and this is where we are going to edit the hyperactive and input whatever it is we want to input now click on this place you're seeing the layer icon after clicking on it double you can see this place you're seeing do, um, this this is the text effect right here so double tap it just double tap and when it gets you gets you to this point click on the layer icon again and look at what you've got now tap on this text don't just tap on it once double tap it just double tap it and now we are going to clear this up and input our own preferable text so let me just say um let me input texts i'll just input texts then effects you can see that text effect now when you are done with this part click on this place you are seeing file please don't go off track click on this place you have seen file then after clicking on file click on this place you are seeing save smart objects now when you tap on it it will look as if you do not even tap on it just wait for it and allow it to finish loading itself all right now we are done with the text effect it has been edited already now to show what we have done click on this psd file you are seeing right here this particular place you are seeing my cursor tap on it and allow it to finish loading itself and as you can see look at what we've got we have been able to edit that particular um hyperactive and then we are able to use text effects now if you want to save it this way all you need to do is to click on file and then click on download um click on this place you're seeing export as then after clicking on export as you can now select the ratio but then before then let me show let me show you something let's say for example what you need here you don't want it you want it to be in a transparent background maybe what i want to design is a flyer and um like the flyers i showed in episode one so let's say i just want to use it on on a particular place all you need to do is to click on this place you can see this place um this place you're seeing editable text effect this text at the top and this particular smart object 
these two texts that aside from um, this editable text effect and this uh, smart object text we want it to, we don't want it to be there so click on the layer icon then look for where you're going to see something like type 2 look at it right here so we are going to click on the eyes icon the eye icon beside it tap on it then after tapping on it it's going to hide it look at it the text is no longer there now if you want to save it this way you can continue by saving it but then if you want it to be in a transparent background click on the layer icon again and look for where you are going to see background look at the background right here so click on the eyes icon again and after clicking on the eyes icon you can see what we've got now if you want to save your um effect click on file then click on export as now since you want it to be in a transparent background click on png just click on png now in your home case maybe if you are using for um for to pay for the first time or probably you can see this place this quality can be reduced make sure you increase the quality to 100 so that your image is going to have a very good quality then you can now click on save now since we are not having for, um, the premium photo p and it might not actually ask you to watch advertisement just click on ok now it's going to pop up an advertisement allow it to finish loading and once that is done it's going to save to your device All right, you can see it's downloading already and this is what we've got. Look at this text effect, very beautiful. Now you can go ahead to your Pixel app or your Canva app if you want to design. You can go ahead. Let's say I'm, I, I want to use that particular text effect for my design. All I need to do now is to go and import it. It should be under my download since i i used it in a transparent background this is it right here i can now import it and position it wherever i want it to be if you don't want this shadow to be there you can remove it right from the um from the photo p app itself the the shadow effects right from the photo p app itself from this photo p app you can tap on it look at the shadow right here this fx shadow you can remove you can just tap on the eyes icon then save it so thank you for sticking around with me to the end of this episode of text effect series the next episode is coming soon so do well to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe and also turn on the notification icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial you can also join my whatsapp youtube community so that you will get notified whenever i upload a new video directly from whatsapp the link is in the description box just click on it and then you'll be added to my youtube community group on whatsapp for free See you on the next episode.